Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you saw yesterday's video. For the first time ever, we saw premium cars in a floor display shipper showing up at the local grocery store. I get a lot of comments about the name of the grocery store. It's called Publix. Right. The reason I don't say the name is because this is a worldwide platform. Unfortunately, this store is only in my state. So if I keep saying that weird name, Publix, 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 everyone's like, what's a Publix? What's a Publix? So uh, I just call it a grocery store. People that are familiar with the grocery store, you already know the name. There's no reason to say it. So yes, the, the chain is called Publix. That's where I found the floor display shippers. But again, not everybody has that store. All right, so you saw my ranting reel on Friday. Dude, I did so much work to this thing for hours, finding tools, getting the drill, making axles, getting the wheels ready. Some of these tires have like a little cut in them somehow. I don't know what happened there, but it's an easy fix. We could just flip it around to the other side. So we'll fix that. The one wheel was rubbing on the car. I crimped the axles way too hard and it bent the axle in a way that it cambered the wheel. It went up into the wheel well. It went up and, bless you, you okay? It's okay, bless you, bless you. Somebody sneezed over there. So the one wheel was riding up into the wheel well. So anyway, and then I'm thinking, oh, well, let's just be really creative and solder this post back together because I tried drilling it for a screw and the drill bit broke off inside of there. So I do have some epoxy. Oh, it's not epoxy. It's a hardening putty, contour putty. I've never opened this, so it should be good. The reason I have it is because I always wanted to lower a Hot Wheel. And the way you would do that is using this putty, fill in these axle slits, and then you can cut into them uh, a little bit more of a shallow entry, I guess you could say, for the axle to then be lifted up into the up into the chassis a little bit. But we know now that we would need a really small wheel, a really small tire to do that, and these are not the wheels and tires to be doing that. So today, in today's video, finally... I'm going to finish this thing, bro. I'm going to finish this thing. We're going to get those wheels on. We're going to try to get the solder out of the hole. I'm going to use putty to put it back together. Uh, hopefully it dries like gray or something. That's why I like the solder. You know, it really, it was like, I had a beautiful bead there. It almost looked like a rivet. And then all of a sudden, and everything was fine. Like it was the right distance. Everything was good. I went to pick it up and it just fell right apart. So soldering the pin didn't work. We will try the putty today. And I also did clear coat the glass. You guys said that in the comments, there was a huge black line, like a racing stripe down the whole middle of the windshield. Yes, I did that when I was a kid. So I cleaned it off, a little bit of sanding, and clear coated the glass, and it looks great. It's got kind of a matte finish. I really like it. I'm going to leave the interior color alone, and right now I will make new axles for, I believe, the second time. I've already drilled all of this out. This will fit right in. See? Nice and smooth. So we have to use this method now that I've drilled out this inner piece. So I'm gonna make new axles again, get the solder out of here, get the wheels back on. But first, here is the Gran Turismo Hot Wheels Pop Culture Nissan Concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo. Yep, I said that twice. The front end is awesome, dude. I remember, I remember seeing a post somewhere recently that showed this car and it's pretty neat, dude. It has all the GTR R35 vibes you can get with a little hint of steroids, I guess. The side looks a little plain, but I'm sure if we saw a picture, it would match up pretty well. The Gran Turismo line of cars has always been very popular, including the Forza cars as well. People really like collecting the video game cars. Super cool to see this at the grocery store. And again, for the price, only $6, right? I mean, it was a bargain compared to the $627, $649 uh, price that we normally see at the Target and the Walfart. The Snoopy car was also pretty neat but I left them. I left them all. Grabbed a couple of these Nissan Concept 2020. 
Wow, Nissan Concept 2020, that's four years ago. Dude, where is this car? Is it only for the game? Is, is that the deal? Like they built an IRL model, but it only actually works in the game. You guys let me know in the comments. All right, let's see if we can get this solder out of here, at least most of it. I do have a tool that removes solder. But I think the torch, it'll just, yep, there we go. Bye-bye. All right, well, that was easy. Bye. Uh, yeah, we'll just use the putty. There's a little discoloration underneath here. I wonder, oh yeah, it looks like that'll clean off once it cools down. We'll give her a good cleaning. Okay, all right, crisis averted. All right, cool. So actually that kind of helped us. The The hole now allows for the back end to go nice and flush. There we go. All right, wheels, interior, glass, putty this thing shut, done. All right, new axles again. Seems like I always have to make them twice, but hey, all good. The back one's a little bit loose, so I'm going to put a little drop of putty right there before we finish. All right, so I put a little putty right there, as you can see. Hopefully it will dry and hold this in place for us. This stuff's supposed to dry so hard that you could sand it, so I would imagine this should work. We'll let her dry and see what happens. All right, we'll see what happens. I wrapped a rubber band around it. She's definitely not gonna be a roller, but she'll be a shower. She'll be a shower for sure. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to show you our final result someday. I thought it would be today, but it's not gonna be today. Yeah.